हेलो स्टूडेंट एंड वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो टुडे वी विल लर्न फ्रॉम कैम्ब्रिज पब्लिकेशन आई एक्सप्लोर स्टैंडर्ड वन लेसन नंबर वन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर लेसन हियर दे हैव गिवन सम एक्टिविटी राइट द नेम्स of the things that you see in the coaches of the train they have shown one train and in every coach some objects or something is there so you have to write its name so first one in the first coach what is this girl g i r l girl which is living thing boy living thing dog living thing football non living thing teddy bear non living thing and in the last coach rabbit is there it is also living thing so this is our train with some living and non living things so let's start with our first lesson living and non living things try to read with me we see many things around us see there are many things around us some of them are maybe living and some of them are maybe non living so which things you see around you so we see windows doors books sofa tables our pet cat or pet dog mother father sister or brother so there are many things around us these things can be divided into two groups living and non living so all the things which are around us may be at home may be on the road may be in our neighborhood area all those things are divided only into two groups which are living and non living now let's see what is this living thing means living things need food which are living things they need food why do they need food they grow okay so they grow for that they need food show movement and need air so living thing need food they grow they show movement and they need air to for breathing they can fill and produce their own kind like a dog can give a bird to a puppy a cat can give a bird to a little kitten so they can produce their own kind animals and plants are living things all the animals all the plants all the birds and human beings all are living things why they are living things because what is the characteristic of living things that living things need food we all need food dog need food cat need food humans need food a sparrow needs food so hum human beings animals birds all these are living things why because they need food they grow remember when you have born you are a small baby and now little day by day you are growing so living things can grow they show movement you move from one place to another on your own your mother don't have to push you so the living things they show movement and need air for breathing see this is the first picture showing that living things need food she is eating food living things grow when it was a 
small puppy and now it is a dog so living things grow living things show movement see this elephant is moving or he is walking the bird is flying so they are flying or they are walking on their own no one has to push them so living things show movement now in the next picture living things need air he is breathing the air so living things need air living things produce their own kinds see the cat has kittens so living things are produce their own kind and living things feel we can feel the soft surface we can feel the hard surface we can feel that something is hurting us so living things feel so these are the characteristics of living things we show the what are the characteristics of living things they can living things need food they can grow they show movement they need air they produce their own kind and they can feel now let's move ahead plants are also living things a small plant grows from a seed and grows up to become a big plant see here there is a small seed inside the soil when it gets water and sunlight remember when it gets water and sunlight it be, it starts growing the first root and shoot comes that is the seedling and then it becomes a big adult plant okay so all the plants are also living things do you know a car also moves on the road but it is not a living thing see just now i told you the characteristics of living things that they can move from one place to another so car also moves from one place to another then why it is not a living thing it cannot move on its own understood it cannot move on its own it needs a driver to start its engine and move it so a car is a non living thing so even if the car is moving from one place to another it is not a living thing plants make their own food they need air to live plant is the only living thing which make its own food and also they need air to live so these are the characteristics of living thing that's why plant is also a living thing now the last characteristic i told you that plants uh, or living things feel so plants do not move from one place to another like human beings or animals or birds plants don't move from one another but they show movement plants also show movement in their parts the leaves of the touch me not plant close when touch when we touch to the touch me not plant it leaves closes also you must have heard about the sunflower when the sun is on the east the flower turns to the east and slowly slowly it turns the way sun moves so that's why it is known as a sunflower so this way some part of the plants show the movement so even if plants do not move from one place to another they show movement in different ways in different parts so they are also the living things now let's move towards our next topic that is non living things now what are the characteristics of non living things so non living things do not eat non living things do not eat see the sofa at your house 
windows, chairs, tables. They don't need food. Need air or feel. They don't need air or they don't feel. They cannot move or grow. They cannot grow. Your table does not move. They cannot grow. So they also cannot have babies. So these are the characteristics of non-living things. What, what are, let's see, let's repeat. Non-living things do not eat, need air or fill. They cannot move or grow and they also cannot have babies. Now, non-living things are divided into two groups. One is natural thing and other one is human made thing. See, non-living things are made or divided into two groups. One is natural thing and other is human made thing. Now, let's see what is natural thing and what is human made thing. Now, if you notice in your neighborhood, there are many non-living things which are naturally found in nature. We don't make them. Okay, we don't make them at home. So, such non-living things are known as natural things. You must have seen clouds, mountains, moon, stars, water, mountains, stones, water. All these things are non-living things. But they are natural. Man has not made them. So, they are not human made. Or simply we can say that they are created by the God. So, natural things are found in nature. These are not made by humans. For example, mountains and clouds, moon and stars, water and stone. So, dear friends, all these are known as natural non-living things. Now something that we human have made, humans have created. So human made things are not found in nature. These are made by humans. See this is the table, chair, book, toy train. All these we don't found in nature. We have to make them. So these are Non-living things but they are human made non-living things. What are they? Human made non-living things but these are found as it is in nature. So but they are also non-living things. So they are known as natural non-living things and these are human made non-living things. Here on the same page one checkpoint is there. Name the following. Two non-living things you find at home. Two non-living things at your home. See we can have a table and chair. These are, these are two non-living things we found at home. Next is. Two non-living things you find in your class. Which are they? Maybe a chalk and black board. B-O-A-R-D. These are the two things we found in our class which are non-living. And these two things we find at our home. Which are non-living. Okay. On the next page. Fill in the blanks. Living things can dash from one place to another. Living things can move from one place to another. Dash things cannot grow. Non-living things cannot grow. A toy is a human made thing. A toy is a human made thing. On the same page one activity is given. So you have to color the living things you can see in the picture. 
so let's revise what we have learned from this lesson plants and animals are living things living things eat food living things grow move and need air living things feel and have young ones non living things are natural or human made so i hope you must have understood the lesson living and non living try to read with me thank you we will meet in the next video with the exercise of this same lesson thank you for watching my video